inspiratory time. I'm going to be speaking about inspiratory time specifically towards in regards to mandatory modes of ventilation or mandatory breaths. So inspiratory time is just the beginning of my inspiratory flow that's being delivered to the patient uh, to the beginning of expiratory flow. So if we view this screenshot of a ventilator here, I'm going to be looking at my, my flow waveform just to describe my inspiratory time. So here's my flow waveform. And my flow is in red, and this is uh, volume control ventilation. And my flow is constant. So my inspiratory time is actually, so I have the beginning of my inspiratory flow, so it starts here, right there. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm just going to change colors. So starting right here, as you can see, the rise of flow, and then it stops here. So this is the beginning of my expiratory flow. So that whole area is my inspiratory time. Now, inspiratory time is equal to the total cycle time. So this is the total cycle time, which I'll be explaining more in another video. And subtract that minus the expiratory time. And would calculate the inspiratory time if you had those values. Now with volume control ventilation, or volume control continuous mandatory ventilation, I can calculate my inspiratory time by dividing my tidal volume, my set tidal volume, by my inspiratory flow setting. And I explain inspiratory flow in another video if you needed to review that. And that can give me my inspiratory time. Now here's a screenshot of uh, volume control ventilation and we do not actually see a, a setting that the operator set so there isn't a box over here that is, says for TI. However for TI here instead of that uh, with this, um, this the operator actually will set the IE ratio which in turn calculates a inspiratory time for me based also on my respiratory rate. So this is just a little smart window. It just shows um, measured values calculated from what uh, set points the operator puts in. And then as you can see, the inspiratory time is 1.73 seconds based on an IE ratio of one to two seconds and a respiratory rate of 10 breaths per minute. Now, what is a common inspiratory time setting if you're gonna use inspiratory time? Some people use IE ratio, so they know that their inspiratory time is an expiratory time. So the patient has a long enough expiratory time. Uh, the common setting for your inspiratory time is anywhere from 0, 0 0.8 to 1.2 seconds. So that's pretty average and that's normal pathology. So setting it too short will lead into um, ineffective tidal volume delivery and oxygenation and too long may be very uncomfortable for the patient. As you notice, my TI setting, or calculated setting based on my IE ratio, is 1.73 seconds. So if the patient was spontaneously breathing, 
this may be uncomfortable for the patient. What's nice though with ventilator waveforms, newer ventilators have waveforms, so I do not have to really calculate an eye time or a time constant. I can just use my waveforms to analyze my inspiratory time and my expiratory time to make sure that my inspiratory time is set appropriately. And what we're looking at is a waveform for pressure control ventilation or pressure control continuous mandatory ventilation where I have a constant pressure and then my flow varies. So how do I make sure that my inspiratory time is set correctly based on my waveform? I can look at my flow waveform. So what I should evaluate is my inspiratory flow waveform, and I want to make sure it's um, fully decelerating. So I'm looking at my waveforms down here, and I'm looking at my inspiratory flow. And you notice my flow stops there. So my flow is not fully decelerating. My flow is ending there, and my flow is ending there based on my inspiratory time. So in this situation, the patient's more tidal volume with the same pressure just by increasing my inspiratory time, which increase, allows my flow to fully decelerate. So that's a review of ins inspiratory time.